everyone, Cindy Otter here with Marts Endeavors. I just wanted to um, share this little book that I've been working in. Um, it's a mixed media. I don't know who it's by because I got smart and covered both the front and the back. So, um, <laughs> oh well, nothing I can do about that. But what I do with this book, um, while I'm going through here, you may see some completed pages. And what I really want to show you in here is what I do with all my extra paint. Um, things like this. This is just extra paint that I had at the time. I just decided to put it onto this page. I have no idea. Just extra scraps. Um, but the point of doing this video is to show you, see this is all extra paint. And then someday I'll come back along and I will actually do, um, make a page out of this. So don't throw away that paint you have left over grab a book have it on hand um, I was just working with this paint not too long ago and I thought well let's use it in here um, this is something that I was working on the eye zinc glitter I wanted to show somebody you know how it stays on blank pages um, this is some kind of a leftover stencil that I had a few pieces of paper this is all just extra paint found this threw it in there um, this is not a book of everything that's complete. I'm just having fun with it. Um, this was a jelly print that I had. I had this paper left over. Uh, there's a piece of fabric, a piece of washi tape. Just This is what I use to collect stuff. Um, this probably was a video journey. Okay, here's the one that I did today. This paint here was from a previous project and I had just put it on there and let it dry. These little dots are from all the different paint that I was using, okay? Um, again, just, I don't know, stuff printed on. I saw these fish bones and I stuck an umbrella here. I don't know. Just just play. Um, this is actually a piece of paper that I got playing around with leftover paint. Um, just adding a few things. That's a piece of fabric. Just here and there. This was testing out one of my, um, one of my stencils that um, I was playing around with. And again, leftover paint. Um, this is just some leftover jelly print. Apparently I've got all the paint toward the back. Again, leftovers. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. This is leftover paint. Leftover paint. Um, someday I'll come back, you know, as I go through this book, I may add a little bit different colors of paint on this. This one's got a bunch of dots from some blue paint that I had left over. Uh, this is an actual page. It's Create Your Own Sunshine. I'm pretty sure I have a video for that page out there somewhere. But this all started, see the background? It all started with leftover paint, which was great. Another leftover. This is a piece of book text that has leftover paint on it. And right here, actually I use this as a paint pad. Apparently there is paint on the other side because it kind of gives this little reflection here. Looks like a fish. But these are both leftover paint. Um, that looks like a celery stalk. Apparently I was doing something with celery. And I just used the paint up here. Again, leftover paint. These are both leftovers. And I just think they make a really cute base um, to start a page on. You get rid of that blank white page. Um, this is just something I had this uh, card. I want to say it's from Stencil Girl. Not really sure. This I've had it in my stash for quite a long time. I have some John Lennon um, stamps. I don't know. I just took a little bit of... Um, just took a black sharpie, made it black all around, stuck those on. Again, just play. I love this. I love the way these colors, I don't know if you guys can see them up close, so I'm showing you. Um, I love the way these colors are all together. They're fabulous. So this is going to be a really cool page someday. More leftovers. This is that piece of paper that I showed you in the front that had the house-like thing on it. I just had some of this leftover from a project. Uh, this is a jelly print. Apparently scraps of a jelly print. Again, more leftover paint on here. Leftovers. I don't know. Um, apparently I had her on a stencil. Stuck a few stars. Some leftover. There's a piece of um, this background here. That's a piece of a jelly print, apparently. 
And then leftover blue paint. This has got the copper on it, which is really cool. Oh, oh you can see it. It's really neat. Leftovers. Again, I come back in. This day I had the blues and the greens, and I come back in, I had some red. Put in some dots, threw in some, I don't know, whatever you want to call those things. And just add a little bit more to it. This was a stencil. Apparently I had leftover paint, and I had that stencil sitting on my desk. So there it is. Leftover paint. Um, that's a stencil. And apparently this was, this looks like it come from a jelly print. Oh, it is a jelly print. This is a jelly print where I used up whatever um, paint I had left when I was doing jelly printing. Um, these are both leftover paint. Just have fun with it. Leftover paint, a stencil that I was messing around with. Had to use up the paint. Um, this was a page I did. It started out with leftover paint. And it says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. This is a jelly print that I just started playing around with. Again, leftover paint. This is also leftover, and the reason it was sticking is all this paint's not really dry. I just decided I was sitting here playing with it, and I decided to do a quick little video. Uh, but yeah, again, this is paint that I had leftover. Oh, this must be the back cover. And if I can get it over. I have no clue where this came from. I think, I want to say Peg Robinson, but again, this is something that I used to cover up the back of the book. So I just wanted to give you an idea that uh, there's that piece of paper that I put into a house. Um, don't take that extra paint. Don't let this all just sit there and dry and do nothing with it because, you know, you can use it up and you can still create with it. It may not, like I said, it's not a finished product. Let me just get rid of this. Um, it's not a finished product and that's okay. Let's see. Let's add some of this pink. And I mean, it, basically you're just mark making. That's all you're doing. So why not make the marks and, you know, use up that paint instead of letting it sit in there going dry. Make sense? Okay, done there. I'll hit the thing on it a little bit. Kind of dry it. And then I'll keep going. Um, let me take, I don't know how much yellow is there. Hang on. Probably shouldn't have started with pink, but that's okay. Let's see how much yellow is left. Not much. Orange, that's not much. Let's go to the green. Oh, there's a lot of green left. So again, instead of, you know, use it, letting it sit there and drying, use it. You can create in interesting, you know, backgrounds or, you know, just marks. And sometimes I find I like doing this more than I do the actual project I was working on. Same thing, I'll dry it up real quick. Um, let's see what's back here. Let's see, we got red here. Let's use, I don't want that green. Let's use a purple. I want that purple. My, there we go. Again, you don't have to do a whole lot. This is just using up what's sitting on your palette. Why not? Like I said, this is, I don't know. I know it's a mixed media book, but I can't remember who's, you know, who the maker was. But I can tell you it's not a real expensive book. It's probably something I could pick up in, I don't know, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. So, yeah, I just take this paint and add a little bit here and there and I normally use pretty much all of it up um, I've got a bunch of white here I still need to use I have a little bit of this red some blue this green this here is a mess it came out when I first squirted the bottle and then um, white so yeah just a quick video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope it gives an idea and we will chat with you soon take care bye